Welcome back to Sweet Transit, everybody. Wildwing94 here. Hopefully you're doing well today. Last episode, we got iron coming together with coal here to our smelter. We're producing steel now. We got a good amount of that coming out of here. As you can tell, our warehouse is currently full. We are not doing anything with that. That is going to be our main focus today. We're going to start producing some tools. Now tools, big, big buff coming from tools in the last update. In a lot of our production sites, you can actually take tools, ship them to the site, and you're going to get a Influence to production facilities efficiency by 50%. And it looks like the capacity is 63. And looks like it's going to be 63 per. So we're going to be able to take a lot, a lot of that steel production. And I think one of the first things that we're going to ship it to is going to be our wood. So our sawmill production sawmill site, our wood production, and then our coal mine. And that's going to add a little bit of trains coming in and out on top of what we already have here. So we're going to have to balance our lines a little bit, keep an eye on that. The reason behind those two is if we come in here and we look at our production for the tool shop, it takes coal. So, we're going to boost our coal production up a little bit, nice and easy with that, and then wood, because like we always say, we always, always, always are going to run into a wood problem. And if we can really just kind of stretch our wood production out in that one area without needing more laborers or another production site, that is going to just really, really help us out. As you can tell, we're kind of starting to get into a spot here where we're kind of starting to dip a little bit, kind of having a salt tooth looking effect on our wood. So sooner than later, it is going to be a problem. And we are at the point where I do kind of want to look at getting another city put up, um, potentially next episode, maybe the one after. And I've been looking at this spot right in here and putting a nice little city up, so think we're going to do it here. Uh, it kind of keeps everything close. We got some nice uh, grass area for some food production around here that we can put it in and then some more oil uh, production site and some more iron and we're not too far from some coal. Plenty of coal around that we can bring into our city so looking like a good uh, potential site there for us for that and then doesn't block bring in a lot of our stuff into our warehouse and uh, we're not too far from it. So we will start off with going and looking at getting uh, the tool chopped down. Um, but first I'm going to deal with a little bit of this wood here, see if I can't tidy that up so we don't run into any problems while we're building and I will bring you back when I've managed our wood a little bit better there. Our sawmill station that is looking quite a lot better there. Expanded in all the way out as much as we're going to be able to. Made the lines coming in a lot more smooth, a lot more controlled. I added a couple more trains on there. Uh, we're still probably not going to be able to handle the full capacity that we're outputting at the moment, but our throughput is uh, matching well over what we need for the moment at least. And while we're trying to build things up, uh, won't have to uh, worry about it. And that is the biggest concern right now. So we're going to turn our attention to building out the tool shop and something that is new here and we haven't talked about it yet 
is that once you start getting the craftsmen now, there are new buildings um, in the building menu here. So we've got a medium storage that we've unlocked, and that is going to do five structures instead of ten. Um, does hold a couple different things. We've got a craftsman stonework, and it only allows craftsmen, and that goes for all of these new buildings that we're going to look at here. Um, now, you'll notice that it does consume more, but it is also producing more, and the upkeep is something to keep an eye on as well. All right? Same workforce, same negative effect to your attractiveness. So a little star down here, right? Which we've got plenty of, we keep an eye on that. But, a little bit more costly as far as materials go. Um, it's going to cost bricks instead of wood. But you are getting a couple more cut stone a minute. And it is, you know, a little more expensive. So as we develop, I think that's something well worth looking into. Um, and same goes here for the Crestman Clothing Shop. Upkeep is going to be a little more intensive, but you'll notice we're getting quite a bit more per building out of it. Time is the same. Workforce is the same. Just getting that extra production because they are technically more skilled workers. So we're going to focus on the tool shop here, though, and building it out of our new industrial zone down here. And we're going to start off with two. And I'm going to put them side by side here. We can get the wood, and I'm going to actually go for one of these new ones. I think we do need it for our nice new workshop. Could be wrong. I think it functions the same. And the medium storage icon might just be for the warehouse and allowing us to store those things in the warehouse. But we should now be seeing our town having our icons we need. And we're going to go with 15 a minute. So that'll give us 30. And we're going to need to bring some steel in, which we've got plenty. We might not have as much as we actually think. This is going to be a neat little mechanic to play with here. This is a little bit more in-depth than anything we've messed with so far. So uh, steel is going to go in the flat car. And I'm actually going to make one that's a little bit smaller. Um, I don't want something that's going to take up like crazy amount. Although I was, but nah, let's, let's backtrack on this. I want to show you something. For the time being, and we can always upgrade this later on. So we've got a new bridge type, right? And the length is for the normal bridge, stone bridge, it's between 6 and 80 tiles. The steel bridge is between 6 and 40 tiles. So no difference. Straight bridges. Right? You don't get the little, you know, in between ones. Little effect in between. But I do know in the coming update that. We are going to be able to do little turns so the bridge will be able to come up and turn. Kind of make like a 
a 90 with the bridge. So that'll be important. And that's kind of why I don't want to get too crazy. Um, just going to have this steel available and we'll be able to expand it out. But unbeknownst when that is coming out, hopefully sooner than later we're supposed to, um, sometime this month. We will see when that happens. Until that time, we're going to play it safe. So we're going to take from our output station that we have here, and I'm going to use this station again because we've got room for one more rail here, and this side gets real backed up. And we're going to load our steel. We're going to unload there. Full cargo. We'll go with time passed as well, just in case for some reason we don't have enough there. I don't want it to uh, be just sitting around and we don't, we don't get anything. And this one, we'll do an empty cargo. That way it'll uh, give us everything and then it'll run away. I want to make a, don't want that brand new kind of. Play with these little sliders a little bit, see if we can't get a nice steel looking white. I don't want it to be the exact same that's blue. We don't want that white as this one, but that just might end up being what we have to go with. So this is going to be from our smelter one to N1, and this is going to be steel. I'm excited that we have more stuff to freight around now. Really makes the game a little bit more managing trains and what you're um, freighting around. Oh, we don't have our little menu up. Just makes it a lot easier. Let's send that. And I'm going to say, just to be safe, we do send. We're probably going to need more coal coming in. Could be wrong. We could be OK. But with us using it now, Would rather be a little, you know, safe than sorry. No. It's just straight steel. You guys are probably sitting here yelling at me in this entire episode so far. It's just steel. That's how you make steel. So we might end up, we'll still probably send tools, but we'll probably send tools up here because we'll probably need more iron production going on just to balance the amount of tools that we do end up needing. So, and do we have tools? We do, 213. So let's pay attention to where we have a lot of train traffic. I still think we're doing okay over here. I want to grab a couple, not a couple, we'll just grab one. We're going to have to watch over here. We're probably going to have to redo this station. Do a little in and out with the line through like we normally do just because the amount of trains that we're going to have coming in here. And get... Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's see. Full cargo. Let's, let's not... Put it at 65% and the time passed. Now, honestly, 
I want to do, this would probably be a good opportunity for us to look at the, um, specific time and send the train like once a day throw some tools in here and let it go I would imagine they only use tools once a day so there would be no point for us to have this train running back and forth so we're gonna need to look into that it looks like we're getting a little bit of traffic over here so it's gonna be something we need to pay attention to we're gonna not have that sit there we've got one line for two trains coming in here now which is not the best and one and this is our sawmill and finally we have tools now our color scheme is getting a little bit we're gonna do that one just because should be doing good on tools now let's go ahead and send it um what car sends tools boxed alrighty alrighty ready ready so Let's just send a big one. Let's not even mess with it. This funky, funky colored black looking one. It's not quite black. Oh, that's not good. So are we reducing at a higher efficiency? We are producing at 225%. We are really cooking. Oh, wow. 135 a minute. That's a lot. And it's still telling us production is too low. Oh, my. Don't think we're going to have a wood problem for quite a while. And I want to check how we're doing balance wise. So it looks like we're going to have to really boost up production there for that. So are we doing on bringing steel in? Let's go look at our handy dandy stats. Let's find our steel. So we're getting real jagged on our steel production there. We're, we're close on production to consumption. Our production to consumption of tools though Looks like we do have quite a bit more production than we are consuming. Should we, we should see that balance out. I'm just going to let it run for a second. Production's holding pretty steady. Yeah, it's getting the production and consumption there is... Consumption has peaked over it. So we do need to ramp. We do need to ramp that up. And I've noticed that these have been hanging out. So we should be able to handle a little bit more production without having to mess with too much there. So. That was a just a quick snippet there into what we're getting ourselves into. We're going to end our episode there for today, though, guys. I'm going to boost our steel production in between episodes so we're ready to rock and roll. And we're going to start getting our next city 
ready because we need to uh, kind of boost a lot of things up. And hopefully in the next couple episodes, we'll have diesel trains going. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Helps other people find and enjoy our fun time building out our train network here. Till next time, though, guys, take care.